I have a CSV file here which I would like to read. The CSV file has an ID, a design type, and an X, Y, and Z coordinate. Um, the way this is going to work, it's going to read the whole line in, um, and then I'm going to split it where the comma is here. So it'll become an array and just be split down X, Y, and Z, ID, and that'll be an array that then will feed into um, a class. So I've got Python open, and I'm going to use Visual Studio just for visualization. Um, the first thing I want to do is import the CLR and the systems. Then I want to um, send in the file path where I have it saved. So I have it on my C drive, um, and it's called framing.csv. Um, in systems, IO or input output stream uh, reader, I'm going to go ahead and send the file path. And I'm going to do an empty out to send out. So I'm going to use the file reader peak, which will look for the bytes ahead. As long as there's bytes, it'll keep reading. So the first thing I want to do is use the file reader read line and get the complete line like I did, I'd showed earlier. Um, and then from there, I want to split up the data in that line. So I'll do the line split, and the, the comma is what um, makes the, the CSV file know that it's a different data. So what I want to do is I want to make an object using a class. So here I'm going to use the framing object. Um, so I'm going to do the init and the self, and then I'm going to pass in all the data that I want to have the self be. So because it's an array, the, the array has the, uh, the data type uh, 0 is the ID, the uh, data type 1, and this is kind of how it works. So the data type here, um, the ID will be starting with the count of 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Um, so the design type is 1, and I'll go ahead and continue on here. Self uh, dot end x uh, equals 2. Now I'll just go ahead and copy and paste those in. And then for the start, I'll go ahead and do um, data um, 6, uh, six 7, and, and, and be sure to fill out the x, y, and z. Um, and now I can actually use the, um, the object that I created. To, or the class that I created. So I say fra framing object and I send in the data to be passed into itself. Um, and then I'll go ahead and append the empty array of out and send it to my big out which will be in the dynamo. So I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this. Um, one thing I forgot to do here is close out the file. So I had to make a copy of it. So I called it framing1.csv. Uh, but here I'll go ahead and just fr um, close it out. So you do the file read.close and that will close your file. So I'll go ahead and save it and then run it here. And you can see that all my uh, stuff has been parsed out um, and that I have created objects for it. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and send out the object. 